welcome back to my channel or if you happen to be new here. My name is Jess. I'm sorry if the setup is a little bit different. Uh, my cat's laying in the cat bed behind me and she's been really agitated recently so I didn't want to move her. I just kind of wanted to give her her space and so I'm not going to move her. I'm just moving closer to my camera because my cat bed sits usually like right where my chair goes when I film. So sorry this video is a little bit more close up. I don't know how the um like how it's gonna look. I have no idea if it's in focus. I may have to refilm this. Let's wait for that plane to fly over. I do not know why there's so many planes today, but today as you guys can tell from the title of this video is going to be my small booktuber shout out. There's not going to be a vlog today because I have just been trying to relax and not really think about anything over vacation. I did vlog a small bit and I may include that in next week's vlog, but today I really just wanted to talk about some of the wonderful people that I've met on booktube. They don't necessarily have a whole lot of subscribers and I don't mean that in like a bad way. I don't have that many either but I do want to kind of share the love because I feel like these people even though they don't have a ton of subscribers I feel like a lot of them are new and they are worth watching or a lot of them have been around for a long time who really deserve the shout out and deserve to be spoken about because I genuinely enjoy their channels and I genuinely enjoy them as people. So I hope you guys appreciate this video. I will link everybody's channel down below but I'm also going to put up on the screen, um, if I can find space for it, a little screenshot of their account as well so you guys can find them when you, if you do find them so you know that's them that you're looking at. But yeah, let's go ahead and get started because I have quite a few people that I want to talk about. I'm going to kind of go through these pretty quickly. I think I have uh, seven or eight people so I don't want to be here for too long but just know that I could continue to gush about these people for forever. I genuinely love all of their accounts. I love all of them as people. So I just wanted to talk to you guys about it. But yeah, let's go ahead and just get started. So the first person I wanted to talk about is actually one of my very best friends. Her name is Sam. She is that bookish gamer. She just recently created her account, but she has been on Bookstagram for quite a while. As I said, she's one of my best friends. You can really tell that when she films, she's really putting her heart and soul into it. I feel like, you know, she did a really good job of trying to make her videos look good right from the get-go and really just being involved in the community. One of the very first things that she did was actually a readathon. Sam loves to read. She reads a bunch of different books. She reads YA, adult, um, horror, everything like that. She's also been trying to get more into sci-fi. She is who I'm doing the sci-fi readathon with. She asked me if I would like to join her for it and I really just genuinely love Sam. If you like my content at all, you'll absolutely love Sam. She is so down to earth but also very sassy, very kind and caring and I honestly could go on for days about Sam but I'm going to cut it off there but like I said if you like my content at all you should definitely check out Sam because she is new here and I think that she is a wonderful human being. Now the next person I want to talk about is actually Yasmin from Yasmin's Bookstrelf. I adore her. She is one of the most engaged people I have on this channel. She's always commenting. She's incredibly supportive but also her channel she does a lot of reviews and she is very honest about books she doesn't like and I really enjoy that. She does a lot of hauls, um, normal tags, wrap-ups, TBRs, things like that. But you can really tell just by following her on like Twitter and Instagram and things like that that she genuinely loves reading and she genuinely loves being a part of this community and I adore her. I actually she's one of the people that I follow on like personal accounts as well. Like I just enjoy her so much that I want to keep up to date even when I'm not on like my bookish stuff. So I definitely would check Yasmin out. She's very like soft-spoken, very calming to listen to and she's not all over the place erratic kind of like I am. So yeah, the next person I want to talk about is Yasmin. I absolutely adore her and you guys should definitely check her out. The next person I want to talk about is actually Hardback Haven. I adore Kelsey. Kelsey has been a constant commenter on my videos. I don't normally comment on other people's videos unless it's like a short one because when I comment I comment like page after page after page and I try to like limit that but I adore her. She does a lot of different types of videos but she also does like the normal like wrap up haul TBR stuff that we all do but she does other videos like um, series she wants to finish, book reviews, things like that. I adore her. I think that she is one of the sweetest people I've ever met on here. From the very beginning of when I started my channel when she discovered me, she's been completely supportive of the things that I do and she just seems like a genuine person with a genuine love for reading and I absolutely adore her. The next person I want to talk about is In Pursuit of Tales. This is somebody that I have just recently discovered. Um, I believe I discovered her through Instagram first or maybe she found me on YouTube first and we kind of connected through that. But I adore her. She is just like me trying to start a, like a mental health journey. So if you guys are into any of my mental health stuff, I would definitely check that out. She does a lot of vlogs as well and I really enjoy them because it's very similar to how it would feel just hanging out with a friend for the day and just like 
getting into mischief and just talking about life and things like that. I also find her voice very soothing. I think that's one of the things that really attracts me to people is whether or not I find their voice soothing and I do find her soothing. And I think that she's incredibly sweet and you guys should definitely check her out. She's one of the smaller booktubers that I follow, but I really, really enjoy her content. The next person I want to talk to is Christine over at Turning Pages 52. I adore Christine. I think the reason why I love her so much is she's like me. She speaks very fast like I do, but I've learned recently that it doesn't matter like how fast or slow you speak. Someone's always going to have a problem with it, but I also really enjoy her content because she does do a behind the booktuber series where she kind of shows you a little bit behind the scenes on what we do here as well as she talks about um, video games as well like video games and books like if you liked this video game you'll like this book I really enjoy her content I like her no bullshit kind of attitude I remember she filmed a video and she was slightly out of focus and she was like hey we're gonna be out of focus for this video and I really enjoy that as a booktuber like I really like resonates with me just the no care attitude but also she's incredibly funny incredibly sweet very fun to watch I really just genuinely enjoy her content so if you guys are into like video game book stuff I think that you'll really like Christine's channel the next person I want to talk about is somebody that I recently welcomed into the booktube community because he wasn't aware that he was a part of our community and that would be Dro Talks. I actually discovered Dro from him commenting on my videos and I really like his channel because he actually reviews audiobooks and the reason why I think that's so important is because I feel like a lot of people are sort of left out when it comes to audiobooks it's sort of a lot of people try to get high and mighty when it comes to listening to audiobooks, how they're not really books, things like that, and I think that they genuinely are. So if you are an audiobook listener but you don't tend to read, I think you'd really enjoy his content. He does do a lot of different stuff, like a lot of discussion videos and things like that, so if you like discussion videos, I think you'll really enjoy his channel as well. He's also very fun and soothing to watch. He's also incredibly funny, and it's very laid back. I think that's my favorite thing. He's just sitting down and talking, and I really, really enjoy that. He's also just another one of those people that comments on my things a lot, and we've kind of developed like a back and forth between my comment section and I really really enjoy his channel. <laughs> And the next person I want to talk about is Howl's Reading Castle. I love her. She's one of my closest friends as well. Like, we've kind of developed a friendship recently. She's a military wife. She, you know, when she has time, she sits down and film, which I think is amazing because as somebody who has been a military wife, I know that things are all over the place. And for her to have the drive to sit down and film on a regular basis, I think that's wonderful. She also has her own website, which she just recently launched, which you guys should also check out. I'm sure she has it linked from either her Instagram or her YouTube channel. But I just genuinely love her and I love her content she's very engaged and she's very like she's up for doing new things and I really really enjoy that she's also very like no bullshit kind of like I am we have a very similar style and I absolutely love her she's also really into mental health and I think that's very important as well but you should definitely check her out she's a newer booktuber but I would 10 out of 10 recommend her channel Alright guys, so that is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed these shoutouts. Like I said, I could go on forever about these people, but I need to cut it off somewhere so that we're not sitting here for hours and hours. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I hope you guys will check out these channels. If you do, let them know that I sent you. But I hope you guys are having a good Monday. Um, like this video if you did like it, and subscribe if you're interested in seeing more. But I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!